Okay, uh, let us solve this problem. So, a uh, refrigerant 22 vapor compression system includes a liquid to suction heat exchanger in the system. Okay, so first draw muna natin yung diagram no, para ma-visualize natin. Okay, so uh, liquid to suction daw, no? Liquid to suction. So compressor, ano to? Con uh, condenser. Tapos liquid to suction, no? So dito mag-start, no? Yung heat exchanger natin is mag-suck down ng liquid. So that is from the condenser. Okay. Tapos yung condenser natin is 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, then, um, because of the heat exchanger, no, bumaba yung heat exchanger natin ng temperature of 21 degree Celsius, pero at liquid form pa rin. So, saturated liquid at 21 degree Celsius ang state ng ating refrigerant in the heat exchanger. Okay, so after the heat exchanger, expansion valve, tapos evaporator. So, evaporator, balik ng heat exchanger. Okay, so yung heat, bago pumunta ng um, expansion valve is inabsorb na ng malamig na refrigerant through the heat exchanger. Tapos, papasok sa pump. Okay, so number natin. No? Ang bago yung number, analyze muna natin yung energy. So evaporator, we all know that that is heat addition. Sa condenser, generated yung heat. Uh, sa compressor, kailangan ng compressor ng energy para mag-pump siya. No? Okay. So, our point one, ang um, trip ko talaga si point one is gawin is before the compressor. So, this is point one. Point two, point three, point four. Okay, point four after the heat exchanger before the expansion valve. Point five, tapos point six evaporator after ng evaporator balik sa point one. Okay, so i-draw natin yung kanyang pH diagram. pH diagram. Okay, so this is point, point what? Point six, no? Sa evaporator. Saturated uh, vapor. After ng evaporator, um, heat exchangers. So, additional enthalpy kasi naabsorb na yung heat galing sa 3 to 4. So, dagdag tayo ng heat at constant pressure pa rin because that is a uh, heat and heat exchanger. Okay, tapos um, compressor, isentropic compression, then condenser tayo, no? So, constant pressure, enthalpy, bumaba enthalpy kasi nagkaroon ng heat rejection. So, ang state natin is... Saturated vapor, ah, liquid. Sa karoon ng subcooled liquid. But uh, this subcooled liquid, pressure, same pressure but different temperature. So this 0.4 is a saturated liquid of 21 degrees Celsius. So lagay natin dito, no? 21 degrees Celsius. So this line is, um, ano to? At 32 degrees Celsius tip. Tapos from 4, 4 to 5 expansion valve, bagsak si pressure at constant enthalpy. Then 5 to 6, that is heat addition no? at constant pressure because of the evaporator. So this is negative 10 constant, no? constant temperature at negative 10 degrees Celsius. So the question, calculate the COP of the system without the heat exchanger but with the condensing temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. So alisin natin si heat exchanger. So gawa tayo ng, ng ito yung heat exchanger. 
with heat exchanger. Ito yung without heat exchanger. So without heat exchanger, alam na alam na natin yan. Um, yan this lang natin si heat exchanger, no? Okay. So, same evaporator, QA tayo dyan sa condenser projected. Compressor. Then, ang one natin is starting from before the suction of compressor. No? Pero kahit saan naman, kahit, kahit saan pwede ka mag-number. Basta ganun din yung number mo sa pH diagram. Tapos, okay, no? So, Point 0.1, point 0.2, after ng compressor, compressor to condenser, point 0.3, then point 0.4. All right, no? Okay. So, um, bago natin sagutan, identify muna natin yung pressure, okay? Yung pressure ng R22 at... Um, at 32 degrees Celsius at negative 10 degrees Celsius. So, check natin. Um, um, so, na the low location, that is from saturated table at table A6, no? sa likod ng libro natin. So, um, so, um, 32 degrees Celsius, saturation temperature natin, um, 32 degrees Celsius, that is 1225.2. So this is 1225.2. Unit is KPA. Uh, for our um, negative 10 saturation uh, temperatures, I mean saturation pressure niya. Saturation pressure is for negative 10. So ito po, no? Bugoy ko lang kulay ng pen natin para hindi natin makita. Ito is for 32 and here is for negative 10. So that is 354.30 kPa. Okay, now, um, hanapin natin si COP. Para mas mabilis ang paghanap natin, hanapin muna natin yung 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.4. So hanapin natin, ang tanong dito is, hanapin natin si COP ng walang heat exchanger tapos si COP na may heat exchanger then compare natin yung COP ng dalawa kung ano nangyari no? yun yung question for A to B so so first of all hanapin mo natin si point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4 okay so si point 0.1 okay so uh, this is the enthalpy without heat exchanger no? without HE. So, first, um, anong pinamadaling mahanap dito? Si enthalpy 1, 3, and 4. Kasi si enthalpy 1 is saturate, enthalpy at saturated vapor lang po. And 3 is enthalpy at saturated liquid. Tapos si 4, H3 is equal to H4. Na si, si 2 lang yung may challenge dito, si H2. Okay, so first we will find H1. And H1 is... Um, is HD at negative 10 degrees Celsius. So, tingin tayo sa R22. Okay. San kaya yun? Um, negative 10 HD, that is 401.555. But I prefer, i-round off ko na lang. No? Um, that is 401.6 kung i-round off. Mas maganda yung hindi round off, no? Pero para mas mapabilis yung pagsusulat ko rito, ito ko na lang siya. Kasi medyo maliit yung space natin. H1 is 401.6. Okay. So next is H3. And H3 is equals to H4. So H3 is equals to um, Hg at 32 degrees Celsius. Tama po ba? Check natin. No? Um, yes, 32 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, at 32 degrees Celsius. So, HD at 32 degrees Celsius. Um, 239.2. Uh, plat pala muna natin. 
that is uh, ito no 32 degree celsius that is hf 239.230 or 239.2 na lang para may medyo may may space ako may sulat dito 239.2 kJ per kilogram then h si h so lang problema natin dito no so h2 tingin tayo sa chart natin so tingin ko rin si h2 um h2 ang pressure niya is 1225.2 kPa and uh, using so constant entropy no from point 1 to point 2 so s1 is equal to s2 so yung benchmark natin s1 and yung 1225.2 kPa so h2 at 1225.2 kPa and s1 baka kailangan natin ng dalawang ng dalawang parameters para makuha yung h2 no gamit yung chart problema si s1 okay so s s1 saan ba si s1 so therefore s1 si s1 at negative to diba ang point 1 natin is negative 10 no so ang sg entropy at um, vapor is what no so ito po no tama po ba straight straight line yes so 1.76713 or gusto ko lang 1.77 na lang no 1.77 na lang gawin natin lagay natin dito no s1 is 1.77 kJ per kilogram kelvin ah sorry 1.77 lang pala 1.77. Kasi 1.76 yun eh. Ayan. Therefore, um, our H2 is, so plot natin si 1.77 tsaka 1.225 no, dito sa dito sa superheated chart ni R22. So nasan po kaya yun? So, okay. So 1 2 2 5 no so as you notice meron tayong five lines 2 to 2000 so definitely yung every line na to indicates every 200 so 1 2 1 4 1 6 1 8 so dito tayo sa 1 2 so tantsay na lang natin dito na lang natin sa linya no okay so this this line is 1 2 2 5 okay that is 1 2 2 5 so lagay natin dito 1 2 2 5 0.6. So approximate na lang tayo, no? Kasi mayroon gawing accurate 'yan. Unless yung gamit tayo ng AutoCAD, no? Next is 1.77, asan si 1.77 entropy? I think this is 1.77 entropy, no? So 1.76, 1.78. So nasa gitna ni 1.76 and 1.78. Okay. So draw a straight line perpendicular dapat dun sa line ng entropy no dun sa itong slanting line na ito no so i think ito yung sentro noon ito yung gitna okay so tantsahan na lang talaga no pasensya na po kung hindi ko magitna kasi medyo mahirap igit na itong okay no ano kaya medyo baba natin approximate lang naman tayo eh Wala nga, medyo mahirap talaga yung sentro. Eh. Ayan. Ayan. Sige, na lang muna siguro. Okay. And from that, magdodraw tayo ng uh, straight line. Okay. Pababa. Para mag-get natin yung enthalpy. So this is straight line. Pababa. So, tansya ko, no? parang uh, hmm. so, draw a uh, horizontal line. No? Okay, I think ito na po yun. So, it's between of uh, the intersection point is between uh, 430 and 440 and talpi. So yung gitna niyan is 435 itong gitnang line na to tantsa ko lang no 433 no mukhang malat sa 433 
So, lagay na. 433. So, that is our H2. So, at superheated state, H2. So, H2 is... 433 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay. So now, um, we will solve for COP. So, we can see the solution. Solution for A. So, um, COP means this is the ratio of um, heat of your heat of your uh, compressor to your heat addition no tingnan natin yung ito yung parang um, efficiency okay or performance no yung may da drive nga yung heat ng ating compressor so qa all over work of the compressor so tingin tayo sa chart natin no sa without heat, heat exchanger so ito po yun so de definitely um your qa is 4 to 1. No? Diyan nag-turn ng heat addition. Diyan ito si enthalpy. So this is 4 to 1. Heat addition. Like nandito sa ating diagram. 4 to 1 and si 2 to 1 sa warp ng kompreso. Okay? So from that, um, ano natin? Um, isolate natin para makuha natin si QA at si work ng compressor. Isolate natin. So, ayun, no? Naka, ayun, pwede pala i-copy to. So, by isolating, ah, dito pala sa kabila siya. So, by isolating, okay, we got, so, direction is yung 4 and 2.1, no? ganyan yung arrow sign niya. So definitely, uh, yung Q din na sama. You know? So yan. So energy in, so equals to energy out. All the energy in, so we, we got, ano yung mga papasok no, dun sa ating system, sa ating evaporator? First is heat addition. Sino pa? Papasok si H4. No? Ang palabas lang si H1. No? Okay, so simplifying QA is equals to H1 minus H4. Uh, big letter muna, no? Enthalpy. Since uh, we have the... Ang nakuha lang natin specific enthalpy. So, we'll go specific enthalpy. Multiply natin ng mass, di ba? No? Para maging specific enthalpy siya. Or alisin natin si mass. All over mass. So, mass is H1 minus H4, di ba? So multiply mo si mass kasi specific enthalpy para maging um, enthalpy, yung malaking H, no? So, ganun lang po, no? Okay, so hayabang muna natin yan dyan. So next, si, si work of the compressor ang kailangan natin. So si work ng compressor, ito po. Okay, so uh, copy natin dito. Para i-isolate natin. Oh, nawala yung ano, teka, ano nangyari? Ay, nandito pala. <laughs> so ayan po, no? si work ng compressor. So energy in is equals to energy out. So, but wait, there's more. Analyze muna natin yung arrow sign. So, ang direction is 1 to 2, no? Ayan yung arrow sign niya. So, lahat ng papasok, si work ng compressor, tapos si H1. Lahat ng palabas, si H2. So, simplify H2 minus H1. Since we have the value ng specific enthalpy, convert natin ng specific enthalpy. Factor natin si mass. So, H2 minus H1. So, from this, um, i-substitute natin. No? Magkita natin mga cancel si mass. Eh. Substituting. So, substitute na natin. No? Okay. So, M. H minus H4. Then M. H2 minus H1. Cancel si mass. Then, substitute mo ko sa COP ng ng without heat exchanger no yung common na ano lang yung classic na refrigeration lang so basically ito po yung mga given natin no sa without so we have the h1 of 401 h4 is equal to h2392 h2433 substitute po natin 
So H1, so magiging ano siya, 401.6. So sinatitute lang po natin yung values, no? Hindi ko na po lang lagay yung unit kasi makakancel din naman po yung kilojoule per kilogram. 433 minus 401.6. So that the COP for letter A is 5.17. So this is without heat exchanger. Okay, next. So i-compare natin siya sa merong heat exchanger. Okay, so, so next chart. Solution for B. With heat, with HE. Okay. Okay, first things first. So hanapin natin si um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Enthalpy at those points. Pero meron na tayong enthalpy 6, which is yung H1. Diba? Same lang naman po ito. No? Same lang naman po ito si H1, si H6. Si H3, same pa rin naman po. So lagay natin dito. No? Copy natin siya. So si, si H1, okay, dito siya pa rin po. No? Wait lang. Palitan na lang natin yung pangalan ni H1. No? Gawin natin H6 na po siya. So, H6. H6. Tama po, no? Yes. Si H1 and H6, isa. Tapos si H3. Same H3 pa rin sa dun sa without heat exchanger natin. Okay. Copy na lang natin, no? Pero hindi na siya equal kay H4. Kaya buburin na natin si H4 doon sa with heat exchanger. So buburahin natin si H4. Ayan. Buburahin natin. Paano ba mabura to? Okay. Ayun. Then lapit natin dito. Oh wait. Teka, di nasama itong values na to, no? Teka. Ayusin muna natin last. Mga brother... Okay. All right. So meron tayong H6 and H3. So titingnan natin kung ano yung pinakamadaling kunin dito. Ang mukhang kaya natin kunin. Okay, so si H4 muna because H4 we already um alam natin to na na ano to liquid no saturated liquid at 21 degrees celsius so that is subcooling sub so 21 degrees at hf okay so h4 and it it is equals to h5 so yun muna yung hanapin natin si h si h4 is equals to h5 so that is hf at 21 degrees Celsius. Kaya nga liquid suction heat exchanger. So, saturated liquid yung papasok kay heat exchanger, yung H4 natin. So, ano po kaya yun? No? Tingin tayo sa saturated chart ng 21 degrees Celsius ng R22. Ano po yun? 21 degrees Celsius. So, ito po. At constant pressure pa rin po tayo rin. So, temperature lang po tayo. So, ang HF niya is 225.324. Uh, 225.324. So, for me, 225.3 na lang po ilalagay ito. 225.3 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay, meron tayong H4 and H5. So, kulay na natin pag tayo malito. No? Kulay lang natin yung mga may meron na. So, okay, meron na tayong H4, H5, H3, H6. Si H1 na lang po. Then, plus natin kunin si H2. So, for the H1, same pressure po. No? And the same um, temperature. 
So we, pero nasa super heated state po siya. So ang gagawin natin, we will use the this table. So ito po. Ah uh, sorry sorry, mali mali. Um si H1, pa paano ka tayo makikita si H1, no? Um hmm. So si H1 by looking at your um at heat exchanger, no? I-isolate natin. I-isolate natin si heat exchanger. Ayan. So lipat natin dito. Ay, medyo ano ko lang, no? medyo linisi ko lang yung drawing kasi medyo siksik. <laughs> medyo siksik siya, sir. Ayan. Ayusin lang natin. Ha? Pura lahat. Ayan. Okay. Okay. No? So, yung energy flow niya, so pag ganito, then ito is 0.1, di ba? And ito is 0.6. So, ito yung kanyang flow. Double check na natin. Tama po ba? So, tama po, no? So, heat exchanger, pag pumasok na 3, lumabas si 4. Pumasok si 6, lumabas si 1. Okay. Highlight lang natin. Ayan. Pumasok si 3, lumabas si 4. Pumasok si 6, lumabas si 1. And kaya ka natin gagamitin ito kasi nahanap na natin si H3, H4, and H6. May value na tayo niyan. So, by energy balance, makukuha natin si H1. So, okay. So, by energy balance, teka lang, medyo hindi muna natin. Minisim lang natin para hindi tayo ito. Okay. So, by energy balance, energy in is equal to energy out. Alam mo yung mga pumasok, no? Una si H3. Sino pa? Si H4. Al, sorry. Lumabas si H4, pumasok si H6. Lumabas si H4, tsaka si H1. Opo. Uh, then, um, meron tayong, ang value lang natin is specific enthalpy. So, pwede natin i-cancel out naman si mass niya. No? Kasi may, kung specific enthalpy natin sa isa yan, sa isa natin para makita. Di ba? Maging ganito yan. Di ba? Di natin specific enthalpy. So, mumultiply natin ng mass. Okay, so from that, kasi natin si mass, no? Yeah, pinakita lang natin. So by substituting H3, H6, H4, H1, substitute po natin. So H3 is, okay, so galing po dito yan, no? So, so galing po dyan. Uh, H3. Put. 239.2 kilojoule per kilogram ng units yan no lahat yan so same units h6 h6 is 401.6 i think h4 225.3 plus h1 so our h1 will be no h1 natin 415.5 415.5 kilojoule per kilogram. So, si H1. Markahan natin. Nahak natin si H1. Pwede tayo malito. No? H1, check. Last si H2. So, H2, uh, we already know that S1 is equal to S2. So, yung benchmark natin, no? si S1. Tapos yung benchmark natin ito, Si pressure, 1.25.2. So first things first, hanapin natin si S1. Okay? So ang katina hanapin si S1, doon tayo sa superheated table. Ayan, no? At negative 10 degrees Celsius, di ba? Yun ang state ng ating point 1, no? Negative 10 at superheated state. Okay. So ito po yun. Saan po kaya rito? So, mamarkahan po natin. So, si H1 is, ang, 
is um, banda natin no h1 is 415.5 so nasaan kaya dito si so ito yung gamit natin no so nasaan to kaya si 415.5 dito so i think nandito siya sa gitna na to no nandito po si si 415.5 415.5 kilojoule per kilogram. So, ang kailangan natin is entropy. Okay? So, to find the enthalpy, mag interpolate po tayo. No? Kasi yung S1, nandito po si S1, no? Nandito si S1, nasa gitna nito. So, we will find S1. So, by interpolating those, yung mga, yung mga kadikit ng numbers. So, si ito upper limit and lower limit then upper limit and lower limit so by interpolation okay dito natin ilagay so solving for s1 so by interpolation by interpolating interpolating so interpolating natin um hindi na kailangan memorize to no um so upper limit to middle limit yung muna gawin natin upper limit upper limit is 415.283 minus yung middle limit natin is 415.5 all over um, lower limit minus the upper limit at uh, the middle limit which is 418.730 minus 415.5 is equals to dun sa entropy Kailangan pantay, no? So, upper limit ang inuna natin. So, 1.8174 minus yung S1. Then, um, lower limit, 1.8295 minus si S1. So, therefore, S1 is, what is S1? Okay, kakalculate ko lang si S1. Hindi ko siya na-record kanina. No? Yung kinipresolve ko siya. Um, hmm. um, wait lang. No? <laughs> Pasensya niyo na po. I'm using yung 991 ES Plus. No? Pwede mo siyang i-recta. I-recta ship solve. No? Para lumabas ka agad si S1. Basta ang inexpect nating sagot um nasa gitna siya ng upper and lower limit ng S ng entropy natin, no? Okay, that is 1.818. Okay, 1.818 or 1.82 na lang po ang lalagay ko. 1.82 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So yun po si S1, no? Siya po si S1. 1.82 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin so isa natin dito s1 is 1.82 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin now we will find so na tayo h si h2 h2 is at pressure ano yung pressure na yun check ko nga teka 1225.2 so at um, at at pressure 1.2252 and tama pressure no and that entropy of 1.82 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin so uh, our h2 so plot natin dito no okay sa superheated chart so gamitin natin si 1225.2 iplot na lang natin si 1.82 So si 1.82 kita kita po natin no. Um, ito po yung line na ito no. Idiretso na lang po natin. So plot natin siya. Saan ba yung straight line natin ito? So 1.82 no. Sundan na lang natin yung linya. Sundan na lang po natin. So, hindi ko siya ma straight class eh kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit no. Hindi kasi siya straight. Okay. So, tansya na lang to no So, ayan. Okay. So, dapat straight line to lang gamitin nyo ng ruler. Since na parang hindi, hindi, sa talag, hindi sa straight line eh. Kasi in-scan lang to sa libro eh. In-scan lang, no? Ayan. Ito ka, nawala. 
O, ayan. Hirap. Hirap straight. So, teka. Kasi iniskan nga lang eh. Kaya hindi sa diretsyo diretsyo talaga eh. Okay. So, basta yung linyang yan, yun po yun. No? Dapat ho, kung sa actual, i-coconnect mo yung linya ng 1.82 rito sa taas at saka 1.82 rito sa baba. No? Yun po dapat yun. Eh, since na hindi po makisama itong computer. Okay. So, ito lang naman tinitignan natin eh. Kung saan siya mag, mag intersect no? mag intersect So, dito po siya nag-intersect. So, this is your H2. So, plot po natin. So, so kitang-kita, no? yung, kanyang, yung kanyang plot is yung mismo sakto dun sa linya. No? So, that is what? Exactong 450. So, that is our H2. 450 kilojoule per kilogram. So, kung hindi naman masakto, ayos lang naman. Um, for proximity, okay lang po yan. Dahil ang unit natin is nasa, nakakilo. And minor, minor ano lang naman yun. Minor deficit lang naman po yun. So, lagay natin, no? 450, no? H2, that is uh, 450 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay, so for now, makukuha na natin si COP kasi meron na tayong kompleto na yung ating enthalpies at 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 5, and 6. Okay. So, same. Okay. So, solution. So, Ah, ito pala yun. No? Solution for B with the heat exchanger. So, COP is equals to QA over work of the compressor. So, QA, isolate natin si QA. Si QA ng, with heat exchanger. So, yan po siya. Okay. So, ayan po. No? Um, ayusin lang natin. Okay, so this is the direction. So energy in is equals to energy out. Ang energy in natin is si QA at saka si H5. Energy out natin si H6. Simplifying H6 minus H5. So since na specific enthalpy yung given natin, convert natin na specific enthalpy, factor natin si mass. So that is H. 6 minus H5. No? So, hindi pa nakakalam no? kung bakit naging ganyan. Ito po yan. MH6 and MH5. So, pinaktor lang natin si mass kaya naging ganito po. No? So, okay. Ilib lang po natin muna ang ganyan. Kasi makakancel natin si mass namaya. Tapos ngayon si work of the compressor. So, isolate natin si work of the compressor. Okay. Um, hmm. so work of the compressor. So, as I recall, this is our point one, this is our point two. So, energy in is equal to energy out. Energy in is work of the compressor and H1 is equal to H2. Tapos, simplify H2 minus H1. Then, um, isolate natin si mass no? para maging specific enthalpy. Okay. So, substitute natin sa ating general equation of COP. QA is M H6 minus H5. So, of the compressor is M H2 minus H1. So, cancel si mass. Okay. By substituting, double check natin yung mga values. So, ito po. No? Ito yung mga values natin. So, substitute po natin. So, that is 401.6, 225.3, 450, 4, uh, minus 415.5, 
and our COP is equals to 5.11. Okay, 5.11. So, ano pong napansin natin? So, by adding the heat exchanger of, of in this setup, okay, we therefore conclude na na bumaba ng point uh, ano, ano, ng point zero six yung COP. So, for me, it is insignificant. Napakalit na changes lang po sa COP na. So our answer is COP for letter A, 5.17. And for letter B, with heat exchanger. So that is 5.11. Okay. So next, in the problem, if the compressor is capable of pumping 20 liters per second, measure the compressor suction, so, merong mass flow rate. No? This is our mass flow rate. And mass flow rate is constant throughout the system. No? Ito si mass flow rate. No? Mass of the refrigerant. What is... Ah, sorry, volume flow rate pala ito. No? Volume flow rate. What is the refrigerating capacity of the system without the heat exchanger? Ano yung refrigerating capacity? Yung QA. Okay? By... And the compressor and the refrigeration capacity with heat exchanger. So, parang same question sa one. So, yung QA daman yung iyan natin, no? Or yung parang heat, heat, heat absorption rate ng ating, ng ating system. So, solution for letter C. Solution for C. With ano to, no? find QA of system with heat exchanger. Uh, without pala muna tayo, without heat exchanger. So isolate natin ulit. No? So copy na lang natin. Dito natin i-copy. Ayan sila. No? So copy na lang natin ito class. Lagyan lang natin ng mass, ng mass flow rate. No? Nagyan lang natin ng mass flow rate. Ang problema, hanap natin si mass flow rate, no? May hinahanap. And then, yung H1 and H4, may value na tayo nito, no? So, ito na lang gamitin natin. Copy-paste na lang natin. Okay. Oh, teka. Hindi makapi lahat, no? Wait lang. Hindi makapi lahat, eh. Teka, bakit hindi makapi lahat, no? Ayun, okay na siya. All right. Ayan, no? So, si mas na lang po yung hahanapin natin. Okay? Kitang kita po, no? Si mas na lang po yung hahanapin. Then, we can solve for QA. So, solving for mass. Solving for for the mass flow rate. So, I think mass flow rate makukuha natin sa specific volume. Sa so volume flow rate. So, um, si mass flow rate, di ba? Alam natin, um, convert natin, no? um, volume is equals to mass over specific volume. So therefore, the mass flow rate or the mass is equals to a V over specific volume. Diba? Since bigay po si volume, ano po ulit siya? Volume is 20 liter per second. Okay, 20 liter per second. So what is V1? So si V1... Okay, si V1. So, ito po si V1. No? Si V1 is, ito po, no? Um, um, ito, saturated vapor, no? So, V1 is VG. Yan lang pala, no? At negative 10 degrees Celsius. So, therefore, um, therefore, V1 is equals to Vg at negative 10 degrees Celsius of R22. So, hanapin natin, no? Negative 10, balik tayo sa um, saturated table. Negative 10 is Vg, no? Vg. That is 65 
0.339 or 65 point ano na lang 34 na lang natin okay so 65.34 so nasa na tayo 65.34 Okay, so this is 65.34. So not, ano ba yung unit nun? Unit is, um, ano yun? Okay, no? Um, liter per kilograms. So liter per kilograms. Liter per kilograms. So nakikita na natin yung unit analysis. Ano yun? Mga cancel si liter. Matitira si kilogram per second. So that is... Our mass flow rate is 0 0.3061. And sub, uh, kilogram per second. So substitute po natin dito. By substituting. So 0 0.3061. So unit analysis tayo. No? So 0 0.3061 is kilogram per second. And ito pong enthalpy natin is kilojoule per kilogram. Magiging kilojoule per second. And alam natin, kilojoule per second is equals to kilowatts. So our answer for letter A, QA is 49.71 kilowatt. So that is answer for letter C. Okay, for solution for letter D, so same procedure, pero iba lang yung ating given. So solution for D with heat exchanger no with heat exchanger so iba enthalpy na gagamitin natin sa heat exchanger so samba na heat okay no so, 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 si QA okay QA tayo ng with heat exchanger so ito po isolate natin or dito na natin kunin sa ginawa natin kanina okay so ito po yun no so ito po siya okay same lang naman po okay So, and H6 minus H5, that nandito na rin po. No? So, ito po siya. Ayan, copy na lang po natin para magpabilis po tayo. So, hindi nakapay yung isang number. Ulitin natin. Ay, makapay ng 6. Ayun, nakapay na siya. Okay. So, ito po, no? Oh. Our problem is si mass flow rate again. Si mass flow rate. Okay, sa ating kukunin si mass flow rate, so doon sa suction, no? Doon sa suction. ng ating compressor. So that is sa ating kukunin. Dito ating kukunin sa H1. So dito. Kasi ito ipapasok ng compressor. Eh. Yun yung 20 liter per second. So okay. No? So solving for mass muna tayo. Katipisa lang natin to sir. No? Pareho lang naman ito. Eh. Ayan. Ayan. So, sulat ko na lang. Sulat ko lang natin. Pinamad ba eh. No? Okay. So solving for M. For with heat exchanger, so we all know that um, volume equals to mass times specific volume. Then, so therefore, mass equals to volume all over specific volume. Volume at point one. So vol volume is uh, or the volume flow rate is twenty liter per second. So first, therefore, solve for uh, specific volume at point 0.1. Specific volume at point 0.1 is ano to, ano? negative 10. Okay. Is um, negative 10 degrees Celsius pero at H1. Okay. So, ang H1 natin dito, hindi saturated. Hindi katulad nung, nung sa letter C. Kundi at superheated state. No? At superheated state. So, dito natin titignan sa superheated table natin. Negative 10 at superheated table. Saan po? Okay, so ito yun, no? Okay. 
So, yung seed, um, yung volume natin, in-expect natin, nasa, ito yung ano, H1, di ba? Ito yung, yung gitna na to, no? yung may red line. So, in-expect natin na si V1 is nandito sa gitna na to, no? kahilera ng mga nakuha natin, ng, ng ating H1. So, this is specific volume 1. So, to solve the specific volume 1, mag-interpolate tayo, tayo. Pwede natin gamitin si enthalpy or si S1. May eh. balo naman tayo ng S1. Eh. Pero mas gusto ko si enthalpy na lang. No? Kasi ah, nasa gitna siya. Mas madali siyang i-plot. No? So, solving for V1 using interpolating. So, bakong malo. No? Medyo ulitan natin para may space tayo. Ayan. So, ito po siya, no? Ayan, ito yung limit sa gagamitin natin. Tsaka itong naka-blue. So, so 71.8785 minus the unknown all over the lower limit, 73.4644 minus uh, the middle limit. So, ito mag-interpolate, no? Tapos, gamitin natin si enthalpy. Upper limit ni enthalpy is 415.283. Yung gitna is 415.15. Uh, 4.5 lang po pala. Lower limit is 418.730 minus yung middle limit is 415.5. So, shift sold. Makakuha natin si, B, si specific volume 1. Specific volume 1 is 7 is 72 liter 72 liter per uh, kilogram. Okay, so check natin kung tapos 72 dapat nasa gitna lang sa no 71.87 tsaka 73.4644. Nasa gitna naman sa so tama yung interpolation natin. So so gamitin natin 72 liter per kilogram. So 72 liter per kilogram, no? So, lagay natin dito, no? 72 liter per kilogram. So, substituting. So, we got the mass flow rate of 0 0.2777 kilogram per second. And substituting this here. So, unit analysis tayo, no? 0 0.277. So, that is kilogram per second. Ang unit na yung ating entropy is kilojoule per kilogram. So, mga cancel si kilogram. So, matitar si kilojoule per second. And we know kilojoule per second is equal to kilowatt. So, our QA or the heating capacity for uh, system with heat exchanger is equal to 40, what's this, 48.96 kilowatt. So, that is our answer for letter D. Then, observe natin, uh, finalize natin. Um, so, so by using the heat exchanger, so bumaba yung ano yung yung heating heat absorption capacity niya, no? So ng one kilowatt, no? From nung ito yung walang heat exchanger, forty nine point seventy one. Yung heat exchanger that is forty eight point ninety six. And that's all. Uh, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Makamamay assignment natin isinasod na pala natin, no? or yung quiz nyo sa exam, sinasabla pala natin.